Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this Jack Jack themed cake from the Incredibles movie. So let's get right into it. I'm starting out with one six inch cake and one five inch cake, which I've leveled and cut in half. And I'm going to be stacking those up, starting with the six inch cake on the bottom with some Swiss meringue buttercream using my small offset spatula. I have this three inch jar and I'm going to center that on the top of my cake. And this is going to act as a guide as I start to carve. I want the sides to be completely seamless, so I need to cut away all those bumps and ridges, and it's going to be nice and tapered at the top. And this is what it looked like when I was done. I need to add some supports in my cake. I'm using wooden dowels, but you could also use bubble tea straws. I'm just spacing those out evenly and then using my edible food marker, I'm marking where they is flush with the cake and then I'm going to be cutting those down to size and placing them back in. I'm adding a little smear of buttercream and then I have a piece of cake board that I just cut according to the size of the top of my cake. You want to make sure that it doesn't extend over that. To start on the head, I have a seven inch cake and I'm going to be carving away the edges of this and trying to round them out. This is going to be the bottom of my cake. I just like to do this step first because if you don't have a ball pan, then you're gonna do all the carving yourself. So this is a lot easier to get the round and bottom than trying to do it once the cake is all put together. So once that was all carved, I flipped it over and that is gonna go on the very top of my cake. And I just added a little bit of buttercream to help it stick in place. I added a, another seven inch cake on top of that and then to get the rounded top I ended up taking a cake pop mixture and then pressing that into a round bowl that I had. I really tried to make this without using a ball pan because I know not everyone has one. Um, I didn't show this step because I was not thinking about it but all I did was lined my bowl with some plastic wrap, pressed my cake pop mixture into that, let it sit in the fridge for about 10 minutes and then I just popped it out and here we are. I'm going to link the picture that I used below for Jack Jack as my inspiration for this. And just to get the better shape of his head, I used more of my cake pop mixture and just built out the front and the sides. So once I was all finished, it looked like this. You can see I really just focused on giving it more of like a cheeky shape and then just building out the front where his nose is going to be. Using my circle cutter, I just marked in where his eyes are going to go and then I cut that out. Once I was done with all of the carving and sculpting, I gave the whole thing a once over with a thin layer of buttercream and this is going to lock in all those crumbs and then my cake went into the fridge for about 25 minutes to chill. When you can touch your finger to the buttercream and none of it comes off, it's ready for the final ice. So I added a nice thick layer all around my cake, being careful not to put too much buttercream into the eye sockets that I created. And then once I had done my best to smooth the whole thing with my little offset spatula, I grabbed a piece of cardstock. You could also use acetate. This is just great for any curved parts of the cake just because it forms to it and you're gonna get a smoother finish. My bench scraper was a little bit too big for the bottom part of the cake, so I just used this cake lifter I had and did my best to smooth that out. I put my cake back in the fridge and then I started on my fondant. I have this flesh color here and I'm going to be rolling that out on my cornstarch surface to about an eighth of an inch thick. Since round cakes like this are such a pain in the butt to cover with fondant, I enlisted some help. So I draped my fondant over the head and you can see my partner here just kept the back lifted up so that weight wasn't going to drag the fondant down and it wasn't going to tear in the back. And I just did my best to quickly smooth over the face. I want to make sure that if there's going to be any tears, they're going to be at the back of the head, not the front. And I just worked as quickly as I could to smooth the whole thing down. There were a couple tears, there were some lumps and bumps. It is completely normal with round cakes like this. They are tricky, tricky, tricky to cover. But I did my best to get the whole thing down and then smoothing the eye sockets, trying to get the air out of there. If you find that there's any trapped air, you can just use a pin to poke a little hole since I'm gonna be covering that later anyway and then just guiding the arrow with your thumbs. To help get my fondant as smooth as possible, I just took a little piece of my excess fondant, rubbed it in a little bit of my cornstarch, and then went over my cake with that. 
I trimmed away the excess fondant and then went over my cake one more time with some scrap fondant. Doing this can really help you buff out some of the lines and the creases and it's going to really help diminish the look of the mistakes that happened. To start on the facial features, I'm adding Jack Jack's little nose and then with my fondant tool, I'm just marking in two nostrils. For his mouth, I'm just outlining the shape and then doing my best to press the fondant that's in the middle there in, trying to create an indent, but not pressing so hard that I'm breaking through that fondant. I used my fingers to help me just kind of create more of a lip shape on the bottom and just round out any of the rough edges and to help me make a couple of little like dimply marks. Using my balling tool, I'm gonna to create two eye sockets and just like with my mouth, I'm being really gentle, not trying to create any like bubbles around the eye from pressing too hard. And I just continuously smoothed around the socket with my fingers because I didn't want like a weird ring of buttercream to build up underneath there on the rim. I filled in both eye sockets with some white fondant and then with my circle cutter I cut out two circles of light blue fondant and then just place those on for the irises. Using some blue food coloring gel and a fine tip paintbrush I'm going to paint on the eyes starting out with a darker shade of blue around the outer part and then just dragging that color in so it's lighter when I get to the middle. I added two circles of black fondant for the pupils and then two little catch lights in either eye. You can see here I did add some eyelids but I ended up taking those away so disregard that. For the mouth I'm dusting the entire inside with some red color dust and then back towards the back of the mouth I dusted it with some black color dust just to give it a little more depth. For his cute little one tooth, I just added a little itty bitty rectangle of white fondant. For Jack Jack's mask, I decided the easiest way for me to do it would be to cut out this black rectangle of fondant and then with the same size circle cutters I used to cut out the eyes originally, I cut out two circles out of that rectangle and then placed that over his face and then just gently tried to cut out the shape being careful not to press too hard so I broke through the flesh colored fondant underneath. I just took away it piece by piece. I definitely didn't do this in like one cut. I just took my time and then cleaned up the edges when I was done. To make his hair, I mixed together a little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange, and a little bit of brown food coloring. I added this little splotch on top of his head and using my fondant tool, I just added like hair texture into it. And then for the piece that sticks up, I used a wooden skewer and then just inserted that into my cake in the center of that brown splotch and just used my fondant tool to give it some hair texture as well. To make his ear, I used the same flesh tone fondant and I started out with a ball that I flattened against my work surface and then I used my balling tool and my hands just to create this ear shape. Using two pieces of spaghetti, I inserted that into each ear and then brushed each one with a little bit of water and attached them on either side of my cake. To cover his body, I rolled out some red fondant and then cut that into a rectangle shape and then just wrapped that around my cake, making sure that the seam met at the back and then I trimmed away the excess at the bottom using a pizza cutter. You can see I covered my board with some blue fondant and then with a strip of black fondant, I'm going to wrap that around where his head meets the body. To make his legs, I rolled out two teardrop shapes and then with my fingers just shaped that foot as best I could and for the bottom of each of his feet, I added a circle of black fondant. 
For his arms, I rolled out two teardrop shapes and I pressed the ends of those into my work surface just to blunt them a bit. And I let those sit for a few minutes before I tried to add them to my cake so they stiffened up a bit. For each of his hands, I have this teardrop shape. It seems like everything is made from a teardrop shape. And I flatten that against my work surface and then cut out the fingers with my knife and just rounded the ends off with my fingers. It took me a couple tries before I found the position that I wanted, but my arm stuck in place just fine with a little bit of water and the hands, same thing. If you're finding that they're slipping, you can just use a little bit of spaghetti to keep them in place. Once I eventually sorted out having his hands just sitting on his feet, I also added two black bands of fondant around where his wrist would be. To finish Jack-Jack off, I made the logo. So I started out with a oval of orange fondant and then cut out a smaller oval of black, sliced that black oval in half and then arranged it as I saw in the picture. And then with a little bit of yellow fondant, I created the eye. And this was Jack Jack done guys. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.